Good afternoon. This is Tony Garcia. I'm just making test number three. This one is, after all, from the road. Since our channel right now is Ruminations from the Road, name could be up for change later, but um, that's what it is right now. Since the, the three of us that are contributing to this channel all spend significant amount of time on the road, either through commute or for our job. So, ruminations from the road. Now, that name, it's, it's, it's a working title at the moment. However, this video is a test. Uh, I wanted to test the mount that is in the vehicle and see what kind of a view I get. I really don't like the whole vertical video thing and, and that is the correct way to hold the particular mount, so I had to turn this sideways. Not that you care about that, but it is why I'm testing. <clears throat> also testing how long it takes for YouTube to process videos. Gives me a little bit more of an understanding of what um, what's going on behind the scenes as far as uh, how easy it is for us to just knock out videos while we are on the road. Now there are a few topics that are on my mind already. A few things that are going on in the world right now and one of them is not part of current events or, or the news. It's just something that I see rearing its head every now and then and in fact one of the other contributors, Ben, and I were talking about this uh, last week even, within the last week. That's what I like to call ESPN parents. So let me give you a little bit of a background about myself. Love the game of baseball. Love the sport of baseball. I love baseball. And I have had many roles for many years in the game. I played for a, a dozen years. I umpired for a dozen years. I've been an official scorer for professional baseball uh, or at the professional level for um, seven, five, ten, ten years now. Um, Eleven years. I'll have to go back and count. I trained umpires. I coached. I was a pitching coach. So I've, as you can tell, I've had a lot of different roles inside of the game. The thing that I've noticed, the more I go on in this, oh, I've covered the sport as a reporter for five years, six years. <clears throat> stats, I've run stats um, for Major League Baseball and for uh, other levels of professional baseball. So, one thing that I have noticed and it gets worse with time and it's because of, I blame it on ESPN and the parents who just don't know any better. Let me explain to you guys the rule and for those of you at home that don't know it. Get your notebook you're, out, Kyle. You're, suppo you're right, supposed to step 90 degrees at first base. No. And it's amazing, it's amazing <laughs> no, you're what not. umpires <laughs> let pitchers get away with. That's not, no, 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 no. They, you well, could not make a move incorrect. towards home plate. Yes, you can. No, you can't. And think that they do. And that's the understanding of the rules. <clears throat> at the major league level, most broadcasters don't understand the rules of the game. It is amazing to me how frequently a play or a call will happen and they have no idea. I have an idea just watching the broadcast because I understand the rules, but they have no clue. Managers are terrible. They don't understand the rules. Players don't understand the rules. I mean, they know three balls, two strikes, three outs. They know the next ball gets them a walk. They know the next foul doesn't strike them out, but if they bunt uh, and, and foul it, then it does. I mean, they know that level, but they don't know things. They make up things. They, they, they're just completely wrong about things like, well, the hand is a part of the bat. Nope, not true, not anywhere. A tie goes to the runner. Nope, not true, not anywhere in the rules. Um, Managers and broadcasters especially. Broadcasters are the worst at understanding the rules, by the way. 
Well, you can't throw him out for that. You can't eject that player or coach for that without a warning. That's not true. So, even more amazing to me is the number of broadcasters. This is all at the major league level now. The number of broadcasters that they don't have a clue even though they came from the game. They they came from being a manager or a player and they don't understand how things really work. It's like as soon as they get a microphone in front of them, they forget everything. And it's annoying because then now they inform fans badly. One of the greatest broadcasters, one of the last great broadcasters, Vin Scully, retired a couple of years ago. If you go back and watch any Dodger game that he broadcast, you will see the complete opposite of what I'm talking about. He understood the rules. He explained it, whether it was ruling for or against the team that he was broadcasting for. And he understood. He never cut down an umpire. He understood who has the truly hard jobs in the game. And he was always respectful. And broadcasters now don't have that. Even the fan favorites. So we moved from Minnesota several years ago to our new location. Um, And while I was in Minnesota, I got the chance to uh, pay attention to, we'll put it this way, the Twins broadcasters both of whom are in high regard in the state of Minnesota, both of whom are atrocious with their knowledge of the rules. And they are very quick to turn on an umpire when they don't understand the rule and therefore disagree with the rule. Now, why do I go through all of that? Because at the major league level, these are the, these are the people that are telling kids and they are telling parents what they think the rules are. Things like running out of the baseline, which they have no understanding of, or the infield fly rule, which they really don't understand, or the bulk rule, which they really don't understand. Then the parents go in with little Timmy to their baseball game and start screaming at umpires, some of whom I admit at the little league level are very poorly trained, have very poor mechanics, are very Uh, unprofessional in their demeanor and have a tentative grasp of the of the rules much less the nuances but these parents who some become coaches have no clue those parents and coaches are now teaching the kids the wrong rules and not only that and here's where it gets worse this is where the ESPN factor comes in The plays that show on ESPN, the plays that get replayed during a broadcast, the plays that get highlighted, talked about, mentioned all the time, are out of the ordinary, even at the major league level. But they're in high density on the broadcast. And therefore, parents and little league coaches and even varsity coaches to a large extent come back to their, their own baseball fields and act like that is the norm. Then they start picking fights with umpires, they start calling the umpires names, really crossing the line. And they think that every time you disagree, because they see it on TV and they see it over and over on the highlights and ESPN, they think every disagreement means you go out and scream and holler and act like a child. When the truth is, they almost never know what the hell they're talking about and they almost never understand what to argue. They just are ignorant. And it's frightening because it gets worse as time goes on. Now you have little punks like Bryce Harper and Russell Martin who unequivocally will treat umpires horrifically and then get heralded as if they're heroes for treating people badly. If you really want to boil that that mentality down to a uh, socio-political mindset, it is the entire uh, movement to fight, not just resist, but fight all authority 
for every reason, even without justification or cause. Without straining my arm too much, I was a great teacher and evaluator and a manager of my umpires when I did that. I was a great umpire. I was the umpire that when we had a coach that was running our umpires out, I got those games because I was great at handling situations and I took charge of the field. Knew the rules, knew how to apply them, professional demeanor. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it about myself. I'm telling you I'm relaying what I got on my evaluations. Professional demeanor, knows the rules, understands the game, um, situation control, that kind of thing. And recently I went, I was looking to meet up a co-worker at their kid's game. And so I was at a uh, complex that has eight fields and I went to each of those fields during these tournaments and it's kind of sad how horrible those particular unprofessional poor mechanics those umpires at the uh, 10 and 12 year old levels were I could easily make a difference but because of the ESPN parents and coaches who think that everything that goes against them is wrong That's one more community that has lost the potential for really good officials, a really good trainer, because of how ignorant parents are, how ignorant coaches are, how ignorant players are, broadcasters are, major leaguers are, professionals are, about the sport and yet feel so entitled that all results should be their way that they just have a childish meltdown. Juvenile, sophomoric meltdown anytime something goes against them. And because of that, youth sports is getting ruined. All right, I hope you enjoyed this test, trial run. I'm Tony Garcia. Take care.